Yo, what's going on guys? So I saw this video a few weeks back and it, I believe it was by Jarvis Johnson and he ordered pizza with writing JavaScript code and I found that NPM package he used and it made me want to do that sometime. And today I'm hungry. What I thought would be cool is we create an Alexa skill that uses that package and we order pizza with creating an Alexa skill with Node.js. I haven't made an Alexa skill in months, so it's gonna be a little bit of an experience, but I guess we just try it and see what happens. All right, so I literally just got this error that is says invalid elf header when I try to upload my zip file to the Alexa skill in the AWS. And I found that invalid elf header means that the NPM package is made for Macs and the AWS is a Linux server and it needs the Linux files. So what I'm gonna have to do is use Docker and install those NPM packages through Docker, through a Linux build, and then upload it that way after creating a zip. <laughs> Result, order, success is true. First name, last name, English, order ID, order method web, market United States, USD carry out, order.dominos.get. This is just the order validate to see if our order actually works before you do actually send that order. So let's test this. Let's open pizza delivery. Welcome to pizza delivery. You can say order a pizza or order pizza to order a pizza for carry out. Good news so far. Let's order a pizza. Okay, pizza has been ordered. We just ordered this pizza. Buffalo chicken. Wet. Oh, by the way, if you guys did want to copy or reproduce this code, I'm going to have a link to my GitHub down below and you can just go and look at all the source code for what we just did today. I literally haven't ate all day, so let's go grab this pizza. In hindsight, I really don't know why we did carry out and we should have just done delivery. Dude, I really have to go drive and get this. We're about to pick up my boy, Trav. We're about to smash this together. literally just went all the way to Domino's and didn't have my wallet. So I'm gonna try that again. All right, we're going to Domino's to pick up a pizza. If I can open this pizza box. Oh my gosh. Code has never ordered such beautiful pizza. God bless code. So uh, about six minutes in and the pizza's gone. I don't feel good, man. So I literally just got back and that is dope. We did order pizza with an Alexa skill. So you should do that too. But I wouldn't recommend the Buffalo chicken. It's kind of a letdown. They should really make a Little Caesars API which we actually might do. Not a bad idea. Hmm. Real quick guys, I just wanted to touch on, if you are not super advanced in coding and you actually are looking to get a little bit better, projects like we did today are a great way to do that. I literally just think of something random to build and then I go build it because I'm bored and there's nothing else to do. For example, we just made it super random. We made an Alexa skill to order pizza. I'm sure there's thousands out there, but we want to do it ourselves, so we might as well. Like I said before, building projects is so much more important than just doing a bunch of tutorials on how to learn to code. And building these projects are how you're going to run into problems and actually gain the experience and the knowledge to know what to do when you run into these problems by Googling and just staring at your screen for hours. Kind of kidding. <laughs> Today, I literally ran into a problem with that whole elf header thing, which I did not expect was gonna happen. I thought this was gonna be a breeze, a cakewalk, and then that happened and I did learn something. I didn't even know that could happen, so 
these are the type of skills that employers are looking for. And it's really important that you do go out and make all these projects and you have them in your portfolio to actually show these people that are looking to hire you. Because if you have no projects to show, how, even if you have a degree, how are they gonna know you can actually code? So the projects are the most important part. Basically though, the plan is that on this channel, we're gonna be making a bunch of random project ideas. And if any of these inspire you, feel free to take any of the code I write, because I will link all the code I do write in every video I do and build on it, add features on it, do anything like that. But that is gonna wrap it up for today, guys. If you did enjoy this, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and you won't miss any more of these videos. Until next time. <sighs> Until next time.